On this video we're taking a look at our NBA parlay for the games that are happening on Monday, March 28, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Our first parlay pick is, Cleveland Cavaliers vs Orlando Magic. Magic plus 9.5 points, and here is why. The Orlando Magic are averaging 104.1 points on 43.3% shooting and allowing 111.9 points on 45.8% shooting. Cole Anthony is averaging 17 points and 5.5 rebounds, while Franz Wagner is averaging 15.4 points and 4.6 rebounds. Wendell Carter Jr. is the third double-digit scorer, and Jalen Suggs is grabbing 3.7 rebounds. The Orlando Magic are shooting 32.9% from beyond the arc and 79% from the free throw line. The Orlando Magic are allowing 36.5% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.2 rebounds per game. The Orlando Magic have been very unpredictable lately. One night they beat Oklahoma City, follow it up with a win over Golden State and then lose to Oklahoma City by 16 and to Sacramento by 4 points. With nothing to play for the rest of the way, this team is giving an opportunity to the younger players to develop them more. They had a solid opportunity to beat Sacramento the other night, but fell apart late after leading 105-97 with two mins left in regulation. They head to Cleveland tonight in hopes of ending the two-game slide against a team they've beaten in eight of the last ten meetings. For the season the Magic have actually covered 21 times in 38 road games. The Cleveland Cavaliers have not done anything over the last couple of weeks to be this big of a favorite against any team in the league. Also, the Orlando Magic have quietly played improved bowl over the last few weeks, and they're also 21-17 against the spread on the road. The Cleveland Cavaliers should not be this big of a favorite in their current form. The Cavs seem to be falling apart at the worst time possible. They've now slipped to 7th place in the East after their third consecutive loss versus Chicago at home. Not having Jared Allen in the middle appears to be too much to handle for this team, he had 19 points and 11 rebounds in the first meeting of the season against the Magic, I'm curious to see how they handle his absence here. His team has now failed to cover the spread in 6 straight versus Eastern Conference opponents, but they are 12-4-Sue in the last 16 meetings with Orlando at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Although they've struggled recently, I still expect the Cavaliers to show up here and get a much-needed home win, but it won't be easy against an Orlando team that just recently beat Golden State in a low-scoring game. Fingers crossed the young Magic can keep this within single digits. Back the road team and the extra points. Magic plus 9.5 point spread is available at time of publishing. Playable at that number. Our second parlay pick is. Toronto Raptors vs Boston Celtics. Boston minus 2.5 points. And here is why. The Boston Celtics have been on fire as they've won 11 of their last 12 games overall, and they will be eager to build on their current 6-game win streak after routing the Timberwolves in a 134-112 home win last night. Jason Tatum led the team with 34 points and 6 assists, Jalen Brown added 31 points with 10 rebounds, while Derek White chipped in with 15 points and 6 assists off the bench. As a team, the Celtics shot 56% from the field and 17 of 39 from the three-point line as they dominated the second quarter by 38-19 to take a 23-point lead into halftime, which allowed them to cruise in the second half unchallenged. The Boston Celtics begin the day as the top seed in the Eastern Conference. They travel north of the border to face a Toronto Raptors team that is at the moment out of the play-in tournament as the sixth seed. Boston is coming off a blowout win over the Minnesota Timberwolves last night. They've won 6 straight and 13 of their last 15 games. Toronto comes in hot as well, winners of 8 of their last 10. It's always tough to lay points with a team on a back-to-back, -back, especially when they are going from home to road like the Celtics are in this spot. Boston is 21-15-1 on the road this year. Toronto is just 15-13 at TS as a home favorite this season. Fred Van Vliet left Saturday's Raptors game early and is listed as day-to-day. 
The Celtics may rest some players on a back-to-back, -back, so check the lineups before making a wager. Boston's defense is playing at an elite level, and as much as I hate the situation for Boston, their winning streak continues, and they stay atop the Eastern Conference. The Celtics could be without Al Horford and Jason Tatum, who are both listed as day-to-day, -day, while the Raptors have listed Gary Trent Jr. as questionable for this one. Both teams are coming into this one with plenty of momentum, but Tatum has implied that he may sit this one out, which would level out the field a bit for the Raptors here. This one could go either way, but the Celtics are 8-0 at S in the last eight meetings in Toronto, and I think they can stay hot with another win here. Our second parlay pick is Toronto Raptors vs Boston Celtics. Boston minus 2.5 points. And here is why. The Boston Celtics have been on fire as they've won 11 of their last 12 games overall, and they will be eager to build on their current six-game win streak after routing the Timberwolves in a 134-112 home win last night. Jason Tatum led the team with 34 points and 6 assists, Jalen Brown added 31 points with 10 rebounds, while Derek White chipped in with 15 points and 6 assists off the bench. As a team, the Celtics shot 56% from the field and 17 of 39 from the three-point line, as they dominated the second quarter by 38-19 to take a 23-point lead into halftime, which allowed them to cruise in the second half unchallenged. The Boston Celtics begin the day as the top seed in the Eastern Conference. They travel north of the border to face a Toronto Raptors team that is at the moment out of the play-in tournament as the sixth seed. Boston is coming off a blowout win over the Minnesota Timberwolves last night. They've won 6 straight and 13 of their last 15 games. Toronto comes in hot as well, winners of 8 of their last 10. It's always tough to lay points with a team on a back-to-back, -back, especially when they are going from home to road like the Celtics are in this spot. Boston is 21-15-1 on the road this year. Toronto is just 15-13 at TS as a home favorite this season. Fred Van Vliet left Saturday's Raptors game early and is listed as day today. The Celtics may rest some players on a back-to-back, -back, so check the lineups before making a wager. Boston's defense is playing at an elite level, and as much as I hate the situation for Boston, their winning streak continues, and they stay atop the Eastern Conference. The Celtics could be without Al Horford and Jason Tatum, who are both listed as day-to-day, -day, while the Raptors have listed Gary Trent Jr. as questionable for this one. Both teams are coming into this one with plenty of momentum, but Tatum has implied that he may sit this one out, which would level out the field a bit for the Raptors here. This one could go either way, but the Celtics are 8-0 at S in the last eight meetings in Toronto, and I think they can stay hot with another win here. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.